Have you, can you sing Hidden Agenda? This is, you, you got a hidden agenda. <laughs> I'm not singing that. Oh, welcome to Ain't Got A Clue. <laughs> yes, uh, welcome Marcus, to Ain't Got A Clue. Marcus can't sing, I'm K-Curd. I'm Marcus Bronzy. Uh, yeah, we got a patron, you know, isn't it, K? Yeah, uh, for the price of a coffee every week, you get an episode Ad free yeah. and early access, and you get an extra episode as well. And I can't lie, it's popping over there, you know. It is popping. It is popping over there in the Patreon. There is over twenty hours of free content, not free content. Twenty hours. <laughs> of, I always say free, but then like, but free pounds, nothing, man. Do you know what it is? You're paying for the delivery. Yeah. The product's free. You're just paying for the delivery. Right, That's bear, what it is. But you look uh, okay. Listen, yeah. You, you've you've signed up to Paramount Plus, and what have you watched since, yeah, since yeah. you signed up to it? Yeah. And Netflix, what have you watched? Netflix is booting people off if they find out you're sharing your password. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, I'll tell you something funny talk. about that. But yeah. yeah, like Netflix as well. What have you watched on Netflix? What was the last thing you watched on Netflix? I've actually watched quite a lot of it recently, so I can't really chat for anyone else. But this me week, by myself, am week, I going to keep Netflix last afloat? Week, last week, what did you Didn't do? watch anything on Netflix exactly. last week. There so you go. already you're yeah. losing money. Yeah. But if you were listening to this podcast, Jeez. how much of this podcast have you listened to? Bruv, I listen to quite a lot of this podcast, almost all of it. Exactly. Even more than your average person, exactly. surprisingly. Exactly, yeah. exactly. There because you obviously go. he has to take out all the, all the stuff that we say. <laughs> That, 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 that could potentially ruin our careers. However, that would make a great episode, you know. What just bloopers for Christmas? Call it the cancel. Should we do, just, the, just, just the last episode we drop ever. Just press play. It, just put it up, upload it, and then leave the country. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've also, <laughs> we've also had some people that are telling us that they're feeling it as well. Not just us, right? R someone basically commented on on our last one, like, well, on one of our videos, going, "Real comedians, man. No sugarcoating or hidden agenda. Yet you speak bare truth. <laughs> Other people don't, and always." Manage Managed to keep it chill. Big up, guys. This podcast is sick. And also, there's a smiley emoji yeah. and a crown emoji. Wow. So, big up, you draft kid. Shout out I don't to know if that's kid. his actual government name, but... I like that. We've got a guest in the building. Oh, He's been hello. waiting patiently. How's it going? CJ Beats in the house. CJ Beats from Wide your... Awake. Wide Awake. Wide Awake. The production. Well, well, I have to be Wide Awake right now. I mean, who records a podcast at 10 a.m. in the morning, guys? Um, As Manga uh, said, it's a violent time. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Like, it's you musicians work backwards. Though, yeah. You're like, leaving the club right now, yeah. usually, innit? You're, you're leaving the, the after party after the after party. It's right? not my problem that you lot are on bad times. Like, well, yeah. Monday is is my Sunday technically. That's like my day where I kind of just right. ease back. You could have said no, week. you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be here. <laughs> but I wanted to be here, guys. I wanted yeah, to make no. the effort. Um, so yeah, and you have um, made effort coming in there looking fly, you know. CJ came Listen. in. CJ came in doing doing a Nike advert. I, th I think <laughs> I think I think you know we've had Jordan came in with the as he said I, I'm dressed like a tramp chic. Mo came in smelling like money last week. And no, CJ's no, 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 coming no. in oh, no, looking no. like money way, too. Way, Mo came in, yeah, and I just felt instantly poorer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like that right now, CJ. Oh, and is apparently that, this is your yeah. this is what you wear to work out at yeah, the gym. Yeah. It's like London Regent Street. Is that a Nike Town hoodie? This is, well, this is actually a Gymshark jumper. Okay. Uh, and the rest of it is, what, how, is so Nike. What, Gymshark exclusive? I can't get that. I've I? never seen that before. That I've looks like seen, a one and no done. Gymshark logo there. My one's just normal Gymshark. Yeah, yeah, My Gymshark's like, still on the shopping yeah. online. So. Yeah, this is like special attire. You know, yeah. you, do, you do X amount of workouts and you get like the exclusive stuff. I feel dressed like that going to your gym. Your gym might have a bouncer on the door. Something like that. Like <laughs> someone, You know when bouncers used to be like, can I check the footwear please? <laughs> Sorry, the, the heel of your shoe's too lean off. You can't come in. Can you I just me? say, yeah, I, I, you see, you see how, how do you choose footwear now? Me? Yeah. I choose fit footwear on the filter. Is it in my size? That's what I have to go oh, for yeah, first. So I got a size, big foot, size 12. Yeah. So I'm like, is it in my size? That's what I have to go for first. Then, I, then I can begin the shopping. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I look at shoes now and I'm like, is that comfortable? Yes. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. I'm seeing so many of these nice Word. trainers. Yeah. Also, can we actually, can we actually be honest? Yeah. Most designer trainers look like shit. 100%. I did see. I agree with you. 99.9% .9 of them do. Do yours look like trash? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't even looking at those. I did see, but they were quite, like, absurd. They were. I think they were like Balenciaga. Oh, yeah, but, but we but don't that, talk about Balenciaga no, anymore. No, no, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> when, when we could talk about them, they had a pair of trainers. I think they are. Um, and they were just, like, super audacious. Mm. And I was like, they are designer. I've, I've sworn off wearing ever wearing designer trainers but these mm. looks all right I, i'm just gonna be on it they a lot of you are, are wearing these designer trainers yeah just because of the name and you look like dickheads 100 percent. also when did it become fashionable to dress like an undercover police officer because <laughs> i'm seeing everyone in new balance and burkhouse gilets and stuff right like <laughs> like say <laughs> Like say, you don't look like an undie. You look like an undie, bruv. Who wears New Balance trainers like 
Unironically, they might be. I've not, I've not worn New Balance. They might be going for that comfort thing, K. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up for them a little bit. I'm with you. I am with you though. Well, the because you want I'm a sponsorship, you. bro. I'm with it. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. But yeah, after size, it's comfort for me, bro. Yeah. If, if the shoe's not, if the shoe does not I, fit, I I'm said, not wearing actually, it. Yeah, I know I said I'm comfort. Not that I know shit. I said comfort. Yeah. yeah, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still backwards enough to want a Nike logo. You want, oh, you my, want the logo on yeah. the crest? I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I mean, I, I don't actually own any trainers outside of Nike. Um, really? Yeah, I'm a slave to Nike, bro. I don't know why. Have you ever put another brand of footwear, like yeah, sportswear, on your I've, foot? I forced myself to wear Adidas a few times, and then after a couple of wears, I'm like, I just don't feel right. It just looks, it feels weird. You can't wear it with a lot as well. But I have no shares in Nike at all. I'm just one I'm of my friends. Advert. One of my friends, yeah. One of my friends wears everything Nike, and then even on his workout videos, he puts a Nike logo on it. And I'm like, "Are you? Sp nope, not not sponsored. Nothing. Is it a fake it till you make it thing, or is he just doing it? Is he the equivalent of when kids used to get a night tick on the back of their head? Yeah, That's the equivalent yeah. of what he's doing. You remember, kids used to get a trim and my a night tick on the back of their head. Never let me get that. You know? Nah, nah, I wasn't I, allowed that. I, I was allowed to get a night tick once. You, you got, got a swoosh night tick on your head. You got a night tick. You got a swoosh. Swoosh, swoosh on your head. I did, and I thought I was the coolest where, kid. Where, where was it placed on your head? Well, it was right at the back of my head. Maximum visibility. I thought I was. I'm gonna take this glass. I feel super pretentious. Oh yeah, for those that aren't watching YouTube, real quick, CJ's sunglasses are looking fantastic. Pop, pop on one, just for a few more minutes as you tell this story. No, let, no. let everyone see, well, let everyone see that for a minute. Yeah, man, come man. on, so bro. You, you pop them on, then oh, we can just throw them on you. Yeah, right. Then. Do you know, by the way, do you know, my dad was like, what, What's that? Who's that Iranian guy you, yeah, you, you're always in videos yeah. with? And I was like, Iranian? Iranian. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Is it become Iranian? <laughs> Baba Jan, Barev. Wait, bro. What's going on? <laughs> bro, I was What's like, that? I was like, Iranian? Like, what? Because I was yeah. thinking he was talking about my friend Saeed, like the, the personal trainer. Okay. And I was like, I was like, no, he's that now, the one you're in mics with and stuff. I was like, Marcus, yeah. he's half Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the other half though, Iranian? I, I have had Iranian before, of all the races I've had. I've, really? had Ira I've had Iranian and Brazilian. So I've been in, in places and I've done so like- I, I thought you were gonna yeah, say, so I've been in Iran. I've been in Iran, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got the shades on now. Yeah, CJ, these are-, these are You're flashy, bro. These You're are flashy. fire, you know. <laughs> you look like- <laughs> <laughs> go on, roast mode, go on, okay. roast mode, go on. Go on. No, 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 they look good on you. They look good on you. Look good on He's you. like, whatever, they look good on you still after the podcast. Yo, don't go, don't get them glasses, bro. Don't buy them. They work for CJ, but not for you. But anyway, CJ, you were telling us about your, um, what were we talking about? Trainers, you've tried Adidas and they weren't quite for you. And now you're back on that. You're a slave to Nike. You I'm a slave to Nike. I don't have any stocks or shares. Oh, that's it. Whatsoever. Swoosh in your head. That was it. The Nike swoosh on your head. Yeah, Nike tick <laughs> in the back of my head. I thought I was the coolest kid when I got it. Um, and I got it at what point did your parents stop caring about you? <laughs> <laughs> I think day one, <laughs> straight out the womb into the world. Uh, so I went to this guy in uh, Thornton Heath in, in South London, <laughs> yeah. and it was in his bedroom because my yeah. friend was like, ah, I, I, I know this sick this, barber. This is sounding even more and more mad. Where yeah. was the safeguarding? <laughs> My friend took me to his barber. If, hold on, you, you're a father, right? Yes. Yeah. Would you let your child go to a random barber in a in a cat's no, house? No, no, no. But, but this is. Would a, you let your child get a swoosh in the back? Of no, not right now. <laughs> but this is a difference in in, in my evolution. I was mm. going to say journey. Journey. In my <laughs> evolution as trying to find a great barber. Yeah. I've gone through the trenches mm. and I've now found him. But I had to go to people's bedrooms and random. Like shops you know, like in the back in, of nowhere. Back in the day, though, that stuff felt so like calm. Yeah, like this is normal. Whatever. Now, if you say that, like, well, yeah, I went into the back of someone's house like to get a haircut. Oh, it's ridiculous. That you, you, people are like, is was this in prison? Yeah, yeah. was was this during the pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to hear about this bed. How this bedroom barber approached your trim? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, genuinely, I walked sit out of the bedroom. Bed, bro. Sit on my, my bed, bro. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> he picks up the duvet and wraps it around his neck <laughs> like the cape. No, no, sorry. When he comes in, he's shaking off the duvet. He's shaking the hair off. Some music's playing. Like, <laughs> Wait, let me set the mood a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it, it wasn't and that so seductive. We've come. <laughs> what, what kind of trim did you want? <laughs> <laughs> Rudd's his, Rudd's his hands through his hair. You've got kind of nice texture to your oh, hair yeah. still, man. Yeah, no, I remember yeah. in Thornton Heath, from? Have you got Mauritius in you? <laughs> Listen, there's nothing seductive about Thornton Would Thorn you Heath. like some? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, CJ, come on, bro. The trim. The trim. No, but if you're saying you went to a man's bedroom for a trim, it is it, it, the jokes will fly in it. Yeah, like, but you guys have never <laughs> had a trim in a bedroom before, no? No. Nah, no. blood. <laughs> you guys have lived. Honestly, say. Only when I was giving myself my trim. 
so you have had a trim in a bedroom yeah but it was oh. there was no one putting it <laughs> through my hair in that bro <laughs> anyway no, no, nothing obscene was happening other than the haircut i walked out thinking i was cool went to my friend's house straight away didn't even say anything because i kind of wanted to be that guy that mm. you just noticed like hey you got a he noticed it without me saying anything he was like it ticks backwards what <laughs> i was like nah no way and then he brought out a mirror and, I'm, and I, I went to his bathroom and then he had the mirror in the back way and i was like he had the ticks backwards oh how do you put shit. a backwards ticket though i don't know like like surely it's harder to do a backwards night the, tick. the fat bit on the tick the fat bit is on the right yeah on the swoosh and the skinny bit is on the left am i right in thinking that well I'm wait, let's at, look at it let's look at trainers. it is yeah yeah no that's the which That's is the, backwards, but that one will be. Oh, so the fat bit is on the left. Oh, so then I would have fucked it up as well. Yeah, so, so I'm looking at the tongue of your crepe. So I would have fucked it right up. It's easy to do then, isn't oh, it? Oh, shit. <laughs> but but then the bit where the barber it, shows you the back of your head with the mirror. It's it looks, right? it looks, it looks you would have looked right, at yeah. it and gone, oh, yeah, that looks sick. Yeah. Oh. yeah Was no, the rest no. of the trim good, though? Uh, I also went for, do you remember Borders? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you gotta explain that though, because some people might not know what Borders is. Yeah, People used to put like a line, like in. Bro, it looked like a fucking border on your head, in it? Like, what do you mean people don't know where it is, bro? Just <laughs> fucking, like, they just got the razor and they start, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. the, the clippers and they started putting, like, a line around there, like, as if as if a graphic designer went ham on your head. Yeah. yeah. Kind of so, like if someone's doing up their yard. You and did all the trends, in it? I, well, that was the only Did you do the eyebrow wild. slit? I never, I never, I've never done the eyebrow slit. Uh, you did, it? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> what, when you had my, like, Harvey, so solid crew doing that stuff, bro? I'm doing <laughs> that, bro. Da- Come my on. My dad never let me have any of those things. He was just like, like, my dad was just like, oh, somebody's going to end up trying to sleep with you. <laughs> That's the whole point, Dad. That's the whole point. No. You know, I don't, there, there was a no, there, my dad was in case. There, was, <laughs> there was a kid at my school that used to have it all, but all faux stuff. So he'd color, but so when he got home, his mum wouldn't know. So he'd color in the lines on his eyebrow when he got home to hope his mum didn't notice. He'd take off his magnetized earring because he had an earring with a big diamond. And everything about him was like he tried to look swaggy, but when he went home, he had to like friggin' cleanse that off. What? Do, a, do a makeup tutorial. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he was doing that, those drawn on hairlines and that way before Probably. it was. Would you, you do a drawn on hairline if you needed to? Nah, I've accepted that when it goes, it's going to go. I've got a beard. I feel like Beard's a, looking strong. a, a baldy with a beard. 100%. A baldy with a beard. Common. Oh, I, th- I think Trevor Nelson is... Is, is is the guy Trevor Nelson's got nothing. Oh, we got some food that's coming in there. Yeah. Should we should we keep rolling or should we pause it for a sec? I think we should just be real. We we needed to eat. <laughs> <laughs> we need to yeah. eat. We needed to eat. Um, um, we we uh, we um we we needed to get juiced up. See, yeah, got ju- <laughs> get juiced up. <laughs> CJ needed to put the J in the CJ, which stands for juice. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, cleanse juice. What 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 if you if you hit the lick? What what shop would you if you had to make a sort of shop? What kind of what kind of shop would you open up? Anything I want, like any kind of, like, yeah, you know, any kind of you shop. know, people, you know, when people, I will answer your question, but you know, when people make real good money and they just make up a shop that doesn't even fucking do anything, well, it's like, probably, like it's vape it's shops. probably running at a loss, like but they just, shops. it's like a vanity shop. They walk like in vape like, shops. Oh, do you reckon? Don't they, think vape shops make money? They, no, 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 no. They've all fucking gone out of business already. Really? All right, cool. I um, think they were banking on the fact that weed will get legalized and they were like, yeah, man, if I've got a vape shop right yeah. now, when weed gets legalized, I've got the head start. And, and it's yeah. just like, no, it didn't ever happen. Yeah, there, Fair is a, there is a vape shop like five minutes from my house and it's always empty. There you go. The, the door's always open yeah. and there's one guy standing behind the counter. No one's it's ever always, in the shop. Just vaping. It's always yeah. a white guy with glasses and a big beard and like, <laughs> just like just vaping yep just vaping <laughs> and, and he's just got it's, it, i swear to you you're like in an if this was in another life you'd be selling comic books but yeah it so happens that now you're just <laughs> yeah. some, some fucking all, all right then well, smoke uh, merchant with that being said i'm probably and with what i said before i'd probably have a trainer shop where the trainers start at size 11 upwards that would be my vanity shop so it'd be a big foot shop so i'd have so if your size 10 you or below big foot Call it Bigfoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigfoots. That's what I call it. Not even big feet. Nah, Bigfoot. nah, Bigfoots. And it'd have like a play on like a Bigfoot somewhere in the logo or something. I'm freestyling. So the logo and that would be it for Bigfoots only. It'd have all those American sizes. Like would I know brothers. Are, would you have a the, CJ in there? Yeah, of course. I have CJ Beats playing in there. Yeah, obviously. You, you, whenever you want. I'm, as well, I'm, I'm a nine. How does that work? 
Well, you know, we'll just, <laughs> what we'll do is though, we'll, you'll have to wear you as your uniform as a DJ. You'll have to wear a large size shoe, wait, 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 wait. so you might look a bit like a clown. He's got but, some size. Yeah, yeah. You, you give him some all red trainers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In size twelve. You might have to put your. Remember when you might have to put your foot with the trainer on it already. Your current trainer into the shoe, and we'll get you there. Or we'll put some shoes in the DJ booth that are on the floor stuck there. What? The DJ gets into them and DJs. There we go. Do, what do, would your shop be? I don't know, but I always find it weird when like certain shops just have DJs in there for no reason like um do you have you ever been gym box mm -hmm. that I, gym i haven't been but i do know they have djs yeah. they use, i don't know if they yeah. still do but they used to have like djs in there like just djing and you're like Bruv, like, man's just trying to get a workout. Like, you've got some guy in the corner. I see you there putting in some shifts there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, inside. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, lady yeah. on the squat rack, you've yeah. been on there for too long. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm on a bench press. Don't forget to wipe it down. I saw yeah. you leave you. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what go on, my man? Yeah. When are you going to do leg day? That's chest two days in yeah. a row. Like, I, hey, bruv, you've been coming in for time. Why are you bigger? No, I feel like another exercise yeah. in the gym yeah. right now that you need to add to it is to avoid eye contact with, with tripods right oh, now. Oh, my like, days. The second you catch, that's like a workout in let itself. me tell you, yeah, I don't, uh, what CJ's making reference to is these videos of women in the gym um, filming themselves exercise and then all of a sudden they go, this guy behind me is a fucking creep. Now, let me preface this with the fact that there are lots of creeps in gyms. Yeah, there are. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I've said it before that most of them are the personal trainers. But fucking, if I see a camera in a gym, um, um, I'm changing my whole workout that day. If I came in specific to, specifically to do legs and someone's got a tripod, at, like you know facing mm -hmm. that area i'm fucking off and doing shoulders that day i'm a little bit offended by that as well because like at the gym that's not where i'm looking my finest yeah i'm making mad gym faces noises ugh, you get me lifting weights i don't want to be in the background of someone's video and someone catches you slipping do you know Listen, what i mean i don't look like cj in the <laughs> yeah, gym yeah look at you this see brother. how cj's all dressed up nicely nice. and stuff in the gym bro i take my clothes that were relegated from house yes. clothes yes bro yeah. oh, listen, my, my, my tracksuit bombs that were relegated from house I'm clothes are my gym <laughs> yes 100 percent. you're like oh that t-shirt's <laughs> fucked gym pile yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what yeah. i'm at yeah no i've got a bag of, of clothes that is like super I've worn these a gazillion times. Mm. I can now wear them to the gym. But I thought I'm going to come see you guys today oh, and up, go to up. the gym. Yeah, so yeah. I'll make a little bit my, my, more. When people see me going to the gym, they're just like, is everything okay? Yeah. yeah. That's that's the reaction I get. People look at me and go, how, how, Paul, is everything all right, bro? People like, go to me, what? are you going to the gym, yeah? Just to check. Because if I'm not, they're like, boy. <laughs> well, I look like I'm <laughs> going to the job center. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, you know, you guys are special because I don't even shower before I go to the gym, usually. So I've showered now for you. Oh, wow. Oh, Thank so you for I, that. So I put on some, some, <laughs> nice. some relatively decent oh, nice. gym wear and I've showered for you. Nah, yeah. I privilege. What time do you usually privileged. go to the gym though? It fluctuates. It depends on my schedule. I like to get it out of the way first mm. thing in the morning, but I feel like if I can get it at any time before midday is great for me. Yeah, yeah. The evening workouts are oh, like I don't know horrible. who the fuck works out in the evenings, bro. You horrible. Know, you know, you know I, it still boggles my mind because I, I used to work a nine to five, yeah, many mm. moons ago, mm. right? And I would end up going to the gym after work and I'm thinking about it now, yeah, how did I have the energy Bonkers. to go before yeah. or after yeah. a full, day's, yeah. full day of work yeah. I would be in the, sometimes I'd be in the gym beforehand yeah. and I'm like going to the gym with a protein shake in my hand yeah. I'm like yeah man I've just been to the gym and that's that's the that's the best part of going to the gym early yeah. telling people you went to the gym early yeah get it out of the way no Actually, no 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 yeah. Boasting to people, oh, just like, like a, a I'm better. Than come on, you don't know someone that's coming along they're they're, and they're shaking, they're pretty shakes, already shaking, like nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> nine o'clock at the yeah, desk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. I, I feel like it's recruiters, I feel like <laughs> you're sitting in the recruitment office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on? We've been up to this morning. <laughs> Is it? Oh, you, oh, you woke up and came well, to work. That's cute. I woke up at five a.m. Yeah. Uh, I, I just thought, yeah. you know, I'd go to the gym. Yeah. No, I, I did legs, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, I managed to even get a sauna and a steam in as well. Actually, hey, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> but I felt I would, I would actively mm. open a conversation about like what have you been up to today? People would just be like, yeah, man, no, like how did you get in today? Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no it, my journey was all right to be fair because I got in early because I was at the gym. <laughs> 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 I just, got, I just yeah. came in early. Do you know, like yeah, because I am a better person than you. I have my life in order. But you let know, me tell you, yeah. by the time it got to 6 p.m., yeah. I was fucked. <laughs> yeah, there you're finished. Was, oh, I was done for, bruv. There was nothing There was nothing left in the tank by 6 p.m. And then sometimes I'd go in the evenings and then you go there and then like, you're waiting four hours for a machine. That's long. Yeah, you got to queue up, take a ticket and then hope you, you jump on. Um, I also feel like the worst thing about doing the evening stuff is like, your brain, you've used it all day long. Yeah, By yeah, the time yeah. you get to the gym, not only, not only are you like 
physically yeah. drained, but your brain, you've just been thinking all day long. I think that's the, the benefit of doing first thing in the morning. Yeah, you just yeah. wake up and just go. Yeah. And just I sometimes get, in the yeah, moment. I sometimes get, I get what you're saying because you know when certain people just have the same outfits, mm. I'm sort of getting to that level where I'm like, I can't be asked to like fucking think about what I'm going to wear, I've bro. I've been there, Steve bro. Jobs. Yes, I've been Steve there. Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, yeah, Bezos. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is why, like, stylists are so important, like, when, when you're at that level. People just pay someone to just be like, here's Where your this? clothes for today, yeah. kind of thing. And, and, and then you look like a Doja Cat. <laughs> 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 what, what happened? The uh, fashion awards. <laughs> what happened to Doja Cat? Oh, uh, should we show her the picture? Um, it was a, it, that was a bit Somebody told Doja Cat, I'm trying to indulge in that. <laughs> Yeah, that she was like, one of the worst look I, I don't know what she was going for. Like, she looked like a bit of an STD, man. <laughs> Is that what you think? I, I think she it just looks sore. Did you say she looks like an STD? In this very specific Wow, I outfit. heard that gulp. Did you hear that? Mm. That was good. That was Mike a strong gulp. Up, this is a lovely that's the, juice cake. That's the kind of, <laughs> that's the kind of gulp somebody has when they've had that first protein shake in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got to get that protein in. Yeah, she looked like a... She just oh, looks she sore. was dressed in all red. Yeah, it just looks sore. But they're like little dime, like Swarovski crystals, like mil millions of them. See it? I ain't going to lie to you. She's a very beautiful woman, man. Is it? Like that? Turn up on a date like that? You'd be I, like, I, yeah, talk to I wouldn't mind, man. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he's like, "Boy, I could take some scratches." Let, let me tell you, I, crystal, I, I told you that lyric was absolute dog shit, but mm. now that I've seen her, I you, get it. You would love to indulge in that. <laughs> yeah. Somebody told Doja Cat, <laughs> <laughs> trying to indulge in that. Although she has been doing this thing recently, and, and I've seen that a lot of other females oh. do it. They that, is the females, shaved, Jesus. The, no, but is the shaved <laughs> eyebrows? Is that like a new fashion thing? When they bleach them, bleach. Yeah, oh, they, they, they bleach them. them. They bleach them. Yeah, yeah they bleach the eyebrows um, and yeah that, listen man like, <laughs> that's effort though man when I see things like that that's a lot of effort to bleach your eyebrows it is people in their 20s yeah, look people in time. their 20s love to experiment right that's why I always say you look your best in your 30s mm. in your 20s you ain't putting no fucking mm. night, I mean sorry 30s you're not putting no night tick in the back of your head <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I am but you <laughs> right you imagine end of the episode he turns anyway, around and we just, just see just, the right <laughs> the, the swoosh let me, the right. let me just comb this back it looks yeah, more yeah. like a pony logo remember that <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man. no but I genuinely think in your 20s you just try some mad shit like well, you just yeah. try anything and then in your 30s you, by that point you've like fucking tried everything and now you're yeah. like look at me bro I look alright now plus plus throwing in the fact that you've DJed most of your life now we all know DJs did have gums that were quite peacocky so you throwing it back now what was something that you reached for in your 20s because for me I know it was you like you've still got glitter on the side of your eye by the way I've got glitter yeah I think these are from your headphones man who did you have in here before me <laughs> Doja <Dogecat. laughs> Try. good save <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no, we have loads of people that are coming in through glitter, recording. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh bro. my gosh! I, you know what? What's the what's the most indestructible substance that glitter. they say? It is How glitter. Glitter and cockroaches. Gl if the nuclear bomb hits this place, yeah, right now, cockroaches with glitter on them will, glitter will emerge. Glitter the survive. swaggiest one. Do you yeah. know? Do you know how mad that is? Like, yeah. well, you'll be you'll be somewhere and someone's got glitter. I don't. Yeah. Don't they'll sometimes spray glitter on themselves. Bro, yeah. Over the years, there was spray glitter. There was like glitter lipsticks. There was glitter thing. Bro, clubs, clubs are just covered oh my, in the shit bro, in the next day. Bro, you hug someone and then now you've gone home to your missus. What's that glitter from? That. Fucking explain that shit, bro. He's a DJ, yeah, isn't it, man? Either that yeah. or it's like the makeup where you've just got it from the hug. Yeah, man. Especially if you do side hugs. The side hug. You do a lot of side hugs, in it. <laughs> you, you do all the hugs in the club. <laughs> <laughs> would COVID you, what? Hey, would you DJ in, um, in gym box? Would I DJ in gym box? It's a bit of a weird environment, isn't it? Um, I don't think I would like to DJ in a gym. <laughs> Only because I like to work out in a gym. So if I'm in a gym, my, I'd rather my time be spent working out as opposed yeah. to... You could just play a long song and do some push-ups. Do you get me? Play, Do a long song, do some pull-ups and come back, bruv. You, you used to two DJ at, at Night Town as well, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. What's that like there? DJ in there must be mad. Everyone's coming in. They don't give a fuck about you, really. Uh, I used to come in and chat to you. You get... Couple times, yeah, you might have yeah. actually. Yeah, a lot of people spoke to me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to DJ. Um, <laughs> that was what's going through his head. Yeah, that's nice. I'm trying yeah, to I'm DJ. Yeah, I'm seeing like, and he's like, one second. <laughs> All right, cool. There, 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 there are there are times where you can't speak to DJs like without there being any issues. It's just like if you like midway through a verse, the DJ's not doing anything midway through a verse. Mm. If if they look like they're trying to do something midway through a verse, they're just pretending. Like, mm. you know, you normally, it's when the chorus hits, so if you want to strike no, a no, conversation with the DJ. No, no, you would stop halfway through and go, well, one second. Like, you'd say that to me and then you just go back into it. Oh, you mix be. it and then go, all right, cool. 
trying, trying to be polite. Yeah. Uh, no, nighttime was cool. It <laughs> I went said I was trying to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> but you won't get I can see, <laughs> see the rage in his face as he recalls every <laughs> single person that's gone up to him. Me and my friends are leaving soon. Can you play Beyonce or Rihanna, please? No, I, just, I don't even mind all of that. It was the people that reached over and just like, Touch the decks as um, as you were DJing, just because you're literally on the the shop floor front. Like, there's no like. Uh, All the good DJs were at Nike Town, though. Because uh, then you went, still got you, some great DJs there. Eh? Yeah, you went. No, they, I said they were. Um, I'm not just because <laughs> because you went <laughs> you went down the road to Top Shop and you looked over and you were like, "Raw, okay, this is where you men are struggling." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel sorry for those second-rate DJs, man. Topshop's gone. They nah, man, they were them. good DJs in Topshop. I take that back, man. Shout out to all my Topshop DJs out there. I got, don't, I got you, man. don't try to don't try and like uh, fucking fix your political connect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the bandit. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, yeah, no, uh, Nighttime has some great DJs. Yeah. yeah, other people touching the decks, or you just get them influx of like it'll be absolutely nothing for hours, and then all of a sudden, uh, a, a group of people on holiday or you know friends just come in and all of a sudden you play a song and it's like a, a party for like 10 20 minutes and then they just disappear again so it's just those moments you gotta ride them out with because that was my only issue with djing there it's just who am i really djing to no because so then, then you end up just getting into your own bag and playing the stuff that you want to play to yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like it's just cool and it's fun but i i need someone to, to bounce mm. it's an exchange of energy and ideas it feels like a really long warm-up set like, yeah. you know, like the early doors when a nightclub used to open, like, and the, you'd have to DJ to the first few people coming. I presume you started off doing that back in the day, though, innit? Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. But then the novelty wears off real quick because then you can say to yourself, oh, I never played this song out live. And mm. then you play it once or twice and you're like, all right, cool. Give me someone mm. to, like, it's like doing stand up. Like, you can do it to yourself. It's, if you want, you're not really going to. I feel like I'm the funniest person are. sometimes. And then, <laughs> and then, like, you get humbled in front of an audience, bro. You're like, nah, this joke is funny, bro. You go into front of an audience, they're like, what were you thinking? I'm, what what yeah. was going through your head when you were doing this? It's so funny because you start think you start like, like, as, as you're saying it, and you can see, like, it's not going anywhere. And in your head, you're going, what made you think of that, bro? <laughs> So in what? your head, you're having an internal, having dialogue. internal dialogue. So as you're telling the Have joke, you you're like, that? toothpaste, am I right? And Have then you seen that, um, that so there was this roast years ago and yeah. Jamie Foxx was part of it and one of the guys was like oh, doing the roast and then you know Jamie Foxx is in the back going this is your conscience oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and then he was he, damn is it out in there or is it me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and he's doing if you yeah. haven't seen it go and check it out online yeah. right and it's hilarious but that's that probably one of the most spiteful things I saw Jamie Foxx do because I saw that and I thought as a man that knows comedy you are breaking a man's soul. I've never seen that comedian since. No, I don't even I know that, that guy's comedian name. Did tried some, something, innit? He tried something against him. And then I think that it wasn't unprovoked, right? And that's the kind of thing where like, don't provoke a fucking sleeping dragon, innit? Yeah, a stone cold killer. Yeah, you just don't. <laughs> don't <laughs> but don't I, worry. I, I feel like, hey man, you know what? And then he's just like, just, just, this is your conscience. Yeah. And he's like, maybe I'll do something about black people being poor. That'll bring That'll them back bring onto them my back. side. <laughs> Yeah, nah, man. <laughs> and nah. the whole crowd's going wild like that. Uh, now, Jamie Foxx, like now that. Jamie Foxx, like we can talk about it another time, but he's he's someone where I look at him, I'm like, yeah, you're a dangerous brother, you know. He's dangerous. That was he, that was that was the equivalent of like someone cracking a joke, like, oh, look at you, man, your, your t shirt's a bit tight, and I'm going, I fucked your mum. Like, I'm like, yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah. the Jay overreaction Jamie, was a Jamie bit tough Fox, from him. Jamie Foxx is what people think Will Smith is. Really? What do you mean? It, it people, people, elaborate, hold, okay. people hold up Will Smith to this high pedestal of right. him being a great actor and right, a great right, thing. Right. Jamie Foxx did music well. He oh was, yeah, he was an incredible musician, mm -hmm. right? He can sing. His piano, songs aren't jokey yeah. songs. Yeah. Like if you put on a Will Smith track, apart from "Summertime," mm. you're not putting on anything else. Unironically, I quite like getting jiggy with it. I, yeah, I, okay, I think that still but works. Still, it's a bit like <laughs> it's a bit like da 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 getting jiggy. With it. It's like it's not like you're not playing. What's that other one? <laughs> Switch, is it Switch? Oh, Switch. Switch. <laughs> You're not playing Switch in a club, are you? Well, I played that Come in a club, I can't lie. <laughs> Let's play that in a club still. <laughs> My uh, point is, he's a much more respected musician. I, I get what you said. I think Jamie yeah. Foxx 100% is one of the people I am jealous of his level yeah, of talent. But no, but he has wise, no business being able to sing, play the piano, be able to do voices. Like yeah, he's, but com do, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Comedy-wise, yeah. he's an actual accomplished stand-up yeah, comedian. Yeah. It's not like he did Fresh Prince and yeah. someone wrote these lines for him. 
That's and why I think it was dread that he destroyed that prayer to go back yeah. to it. Because I think he was a bit too big. You were a bit too big for that. Like, maybe roast him a bit. Like, but the way he, no, honestly, man, that, if you need to it. stop the podcast, he just, dis- I know you like it, because you like vengeance, but I'm like, Not I don't even know, vengeance. man. I just like putting people in their place. Of course. Sometimes you just got to let people know, yeah? Brother, I'm 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 the guy in it. Like, don't try it. <laughs> like, it was yeah. almost a villain origin story. If someone comes up to you in a, if another DJ, like a new DJ, tries to come up to you, like, what's your name? And like acting like they don't know who you are, bruv. You're going to fucking uh, tear down that set right. to make sure it's let, as let, hard let, as possible. Let me for give it. let me give <laughs> CJ the analogy, right? So you and we've no DJs that have done this before. Mm-hmm. When they know that you've got main set, right? So, so uh, K and the people listening, when CJ comes on, or when a DJ after you's got main set, yeah, really, kind of as etiquette, you back off the bangers in it, yeah. But we all know other DJs that have seen another guy coming in for main set, and they've like played all the bangers, right? What? And Why? and to, to fuck with the other DJ now. You could come, you could overcome that CJ, whatever, man. But that CJ, fucks with a lot CJ of people. CJ would have like a remix like, of a Beethoven yeah. tune. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, I got this, man. Yeah. I'll play my name. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Listen, I'll, hey, I'll, we're going to get old school. <laughs> Sorry, CJ, bro. I'm going to say it, bro. Bro, he's banging it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I've, I've, I've got a friend who comes to a lot of my gigs with me, and he, he points it out to me because I've kind of just gotten used to it where yeah. the last 10, 20, 15, 25 minutes of a someone's set, they will just like go through yep. everything. Yep. Unnecessary, like no one wants to hear like pot smoke at 10 p.m. Nah. nah. Uh, and yet these DJs Maybe are Maybe welcome like, to the party. <laughs> <laughs> <New chandeliers. laughs> and uh, I for me, I, I don't look at more as a, a disservice to what I'm going to do. It's more of a disservice to to the crowd. Yeah. Like you've actually you're burning all these songs super early at a time that doesn't make sense. Do yeah. you think music's trash now? Um, nah, it depends on it depends that's on yes, what that's hundred percent. Nah, it depends on what pond you're. you're, you're Has hip hop become your least favorite genre to play now? I do find myself listening to more hip hop that I grew up on. There we go. Than the latest that, stuff. There you go, and that 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 says it all. You produce music as well, though, don't you? I do, I do. So what's well, well going back to to Will Smith? I'm, I'm I'm not trying to say anything negative about him because I need oh, yeah. one song that I did with him to just do something oh, so I can yeah. earn some money. Oh, you done a song point. with Will Smith? I uh, I will go on record now to say I've produced Will Smith's worst song. Ever. Have you? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like <laughs> this is the clip. <laughs> so you you don't like switch or getting jiggy with it. What's no, the, what's, I like getting jiggy with it. But, but switch but is a bit like favorite. Mm, baby damn. When he, you know when he starts getting deeper voice than that, bruv, love it, man. Yeah. Marcus, what's what's your least favorite Will Smith song? We're going straight <laughs> to the wild, wild west. That was yeah, Cisco that was as well. God. That was a Cisco. Yeah, that's pro- Wild West is probably one where I'm like yeah, that, so, and the so film could get Men in Black is a great song. That though. was heavy. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's great. Men in Black. So take all of those songs. The name's Wes, Jim West, Desperado. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. So bad you know all the words. To it. Uh, so yeah, I made a song that's way worse than all of those. <laughs> not, but not consciously if that makes sense so when you were making it you were like yo this is this is talk us through the talk us through the process bro so it starts like this making a song do you guys know exo man Mm -hmm. yes he's like eight foot tall um got a great mustache he's got a wonderful mustache mustache. very well groomed so we were in the studio with exo man and this was at a time when Wide Awake, we were making like more real kind of big room, loud EDM music. It was quite wah, 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 abrasive wah, 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 and aggressive. Wah, 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 wah. All that stuff. Yeah. And so we made this song and we were like, oh, Exo, would be cool to put some vocals on here. He was like, I'm not too sure. Like, just try it. Listen. <laughs> Man had a beat. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was reluctant to say is the that, least. Is that, when a ni- is that the nice way an artist goes, bro, I don't like this beat? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but we got the relationship where it's like, look, listen, we if we don't like it at the end of it, we'll just delete or we'll just yeah, make yeah, a release. Yeah, sure, sure. So did that. He then went away with the song, ended up in LA because EXO is one of these guys. He's just on different parts of the planet just at any given time. So he's in you LA. You one, bro. I'm in Cambodia. Like, <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> yeah. If I called him now, like he could be anywhere. He's, he's either in Mitcham or he's in... <laughs> <laughs> just a random part of the world. That is so funny. There's no like, in between. Like in Mitcham or Singapore. <laughs> like there is yeah, no, in no in between. between. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, he's in LA and he ends up having a meeting with Will Smith's management team. 
and they're like, oh, just play us some music. And I think, I don't know how it ended up on this link that he had, um, but the song that we did was <laughs> in you, this. Can you imagine? Like, oh, yeah, let me not play this one. No, 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 man, play that, play that. <laughs> <laughs> He's double tapped it and then suddenly, oh man, this is the shit we'll love. Yeah, so he's played all of his music and then I think he accidentally presses play on this really <laughs> abrasive EDM record, which we don't even know what's going on with. And um, they're like, oh, hold on, what is that? <laughs> yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Go play, press play on that again. Uh, so he, and it, initially he's thinking, oh, they like it for, it for like EXO. Turns out they're like, I think Will would be great on that. <laughs> And then what? Exo's telling me this story, and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. This is this is Will Smith, not P Money, you know. Mm. Like, or like, it's EDM is 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 an acquired taste for someone to think of. Yeah. Will Smith. So I mean, this was about four or five years ago, maybe. So yeah, I can't remember what the, the musical landscape was back then. But anyway, they wah, thought wah, in wah, their wah, head wah, wah, that wah. this would be a great song for Will Smith. So then Exo comes back. Wait, sorry, us. sorry to cut uh, cut you off, but at, at that point, were you even surprised? Like, I don't even think Will would be good on this. One hundred percent. As soon as Exo <laughs> told us, we said, "Nah, <laughs> <laughs> we can produce a song so, for Will, Will Smith." Yeah. This isn't it. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I promise you that. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, he really wants to do it. <laughs> all right. I spoke to our manager and she's like, yeah, all right, cool. Let's just see what it's happens. Will Smith, at the end of the day, I'm not saying no, bro. I'd yeah. So EXO ends up kind of rewriting the song because unfortunately we all know Will Smith doesn't actually write his own music. What? Yeah. You mean he didn't, he didn't write Miami? He never wrote Miami. He never, he never wrote the great lyrics such as, welcome to Miami. And the next bit. Well, yeah, that's well, it. Well, <laughs> well, well, Nas, close, yeah. Nas wrote Getting Jiggy With It. Nas officially says, right, I was in the studio, mm -hmm. but I didn't. He, his, li his line is, I was there and I heard a few ideas getting thrown around. <laughs> Know what that means, bro. <laughs> no, but listen, a, and you know what? I rate that. I rate that. I rate that. I rate that. It as is well. a nice phrase. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah, because it was from the same era as Uchi Wally Wally. Of course. He was just making up of sounds course, of and course. then like going. But I rate yeah, Nas. So, I rate yeah. Nas for holding it because I know a lot of other rappers nowadays would be like, "Yeah, I wrote that song, man." But Nas is like, yeah, I, was, I, "I was in the studio and I heard the vibes, but you know that was it, bro." Didn't he? he didn't he, he write for that. Diddy as well at one point? Who Nas? Yeah. I think everyone's written for Diddy, bro. Real talk. Everyone's written for Diddy. I might write for Diddy next. Yeah, yeah, you could do. Don't worry if he writes rhymes. He writes checks. He's, he's making Afro beats now, so I'm sure you got he? some. Yeah. I'm sure you got some vibes in Jesus. there. Jesus, Burner Boy and Diddy, watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Written by K. Yeah. Um, <laughs> me, me asking Mark. Now, what's the Yoruba for gets bitches? <laughs> <laughs> what's this Ebo and Shio stuff right they're talking about? Um, so, so yeah, EXO ends up kind of rewriting yeah. this song um, for Will Smith and. Yeah, Will Smith vocals it, contracts come in, it all gets signed off. Has this been released? It's out. It's been out for like four or five years. <laughs> no one's heard it. Bro, no one's heard it. So, you know, may maybe this could be an opportunity for everyone to... If I search it right now, what did, am I did he perform? We'll get, bro, that's Will Smith. We'll get DM DCMA strikes. Uh, but did I he don't even think D DMCA know about it. <laughs> <laughs> did he perform it? He did a gig in like Blackpool a few so, years ago. Did so he perform the song? So this yeah. is how we found out what was going on with the song. So we'd signed everything off. It got rewritten. Never heard. What's the song called? It's called, it's called Get Lit. Get lit. That's what it's called. Wow, wow. you know you're ahead of the curve. Yeah. Um, wow, so there we go. Get lit. Uh, by Will Smith. Dance 2017. Uh, it's it's on the record label Westbrook. Yeah, that's well, his label, isn't it? That's his own independent. The <laughs> artwork, I mean, it, it's interesting <laughs> to say the least. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, well, anybody wants to do that, go and search for Get Lit. There we go. So, but, yeah, um, one day I wake up and my manager text me like a link to Will Smith performing in Blackpool. Jesus, this this gets more <laughs> random. Bro, it's ridiculous. So this was a random one of- I've told you the story about yeah. when I saw Will Smith in Brixton, innit? No. Well, we'll get to that afterwards though, bro. But at, the, at this moment in time, Will Smith has just done a random gig in Blackpool, a one-off, nowhere else in the UK, has decided for him and Jazzy Jeff to go to Blackpool. Was he doing Strictly or something? I don't know what they were doing in Blackpool. They're, they're, they're on like their comeback tour. So apparently they were doing a few shows outside of North America. Oh, We're we going to go to all the big places. So Will, you're going to go to London? You're going to go Manchester, <laughs> Birmingham? No, 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 the guy's going, we're going, because you know they don't go, yeah. go to the UK. They yeah. go, we're going to go to Europe. Europe, okay, okay. We're going to do all the big places. <laughs> Paris, you know, maybe even Ireland or something like that, man. We're we we going to do Blackpool and then we're going to go to some little suburb in France. 
<laughs> Blackpool, you know. I like the sound of that Blackpool. There yeah. like black people there. Uh, I mean, um, yeah. no, no, Will. There is. He probably did it because he thought that like, name was like indicative of, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, the kind of people yeah. that live there. It's like no. quite the opposite. Listen, in his defense, the the footage from Blackpool actually did look quite lit. Okay. For, for, right. for, for, so the people did the indeed of phrase. get lit. <laughs> they, they did get lit. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she texted me. And she was like, "Yo, is this the song you, that that we did? Yeah." yeah? And uh, listened to it, and I was like. <laughs> Yeah, that's the song we did. So here's just the unwritten Were you looking rule. for your PRS check at that point? I, I was waiting in anticipation, <laughs> uh, which... £14.52. <laughs> probably it's like $7 in total, I think. Like, that you've made the, from the it. The royalties of it. Like, outside of the check for the initial, we're going to pay you for the production, royalties has been like about 7 or $8 dollars. In total since then. That is... Because <laughs> the people end up thinking, oh, I'm going to do music, man. I'm going to get with a big artist and I'm going to make millions. It's like... So that, that probably didn't even pay for the studio time. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so the unwritten rule with regards to making dance music as a as a vocalist is just don't say anything on the drop. Like, the, the, the songs are kind of structured in a way where they build up and then you get a drop and then it builds down again well, back to the drop. So in those build ups and build downs, feel free to put as many lyrics yeah. as you want in those. In those drops, just let the instrumental yeah. breathe and let people, you know, yeah. pump their yeah, fists yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever they need to do. <laughs> Will Smith raps throughout the whole song over drop and over everything. And I was just like, this is why... We could have made you an actual Will Smith song. This yeah, 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 was yeah. not the song for you. But it's what I'm saying. Jamie Foxx wouldn't have done that. Jamie Foxx wouldn't have done that, no. Jamie Foxx would have been like, <laughs> I get it. I get what's going on. You, you use some real songs. Because we in Blackpool, Oli, Oli, Oli. <laughs> you know it, bro. You, you do it. I, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm Still, though. I mean, I know you're not going to talk shit about Will Smith. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to talk sh shit about him. I've, I've about, not like, spoken enough shit about Will. I've, he's made the worst song ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here to you say, I will, make, that, that, I will make you a better song. Do you reckon that fucked up your credibility for a bit? Uh, no. Uh, Listen, <laughs> so we never told people that was us. <laughs> nothing is ever going to face my credibility, my friend. I had a knack tick in the back of my head backwards yeah. trust yeah, me that's true. <laughs> now take the win bruv you made a tune for will smith Big up, man. I, rate I, didn't that. I, rate that. I didn't know that i didn't know that man that's fucking sick I, who could say that did you actually meet him no we never met him oh, no. that's just, uh, yeah. uh, made a song for pitbull as well he um <laughs> he redid uh Deneo's party hard and that still hasn't seen the light of day <laughs> really yeah yeah fucking hell pitbull's but, on it you know let he's me say fucking what, on it he's on I, job i saw a pitbull song from like years ago when he was actually rapping and i was like wow he's actually all right but at some point right pitbull made a conscious decision he was sat at home mm -hmm. and he was like i'm gonna put this suit on mm -hmm. and i'm gonna rap on dance music 100 percent. let's get I'm paid gonna, uh, yeah and i'm gonna make as much money as possible for my family i don't he, do you know remember when mango was saying fuck credibility yeah he literally said fuck credibility 100%. and went all the way left and now he's he's never looked back. I salute him for that because he's paid right now. He is paid. Do you know right who else now, I like that? There's a couple people in that genre that fucking smash it. Him and Flowrider destroyed it. Destroy. You they see Flowrider? Flowrider's vi videos are some of the happiest videos I've ever seen in my life, bro. There's one video. The guy is skydiving. In the video gets onto a motorbike with bare lights on it, bruv. This motorbike has like a, like glow sticks and stuff all over it into a club and then he's just having a uh, hell of a time my favorite flow right of the video is one where he's roller skating and he's wearing a, a shirt with tassels on it what Fuck song was that? that? That is a See great video. See what I told you, yeah? Flo Rida has amazing when, videos. When, when you talk about the happiness that exudes yeah. from Flo Rida videos, that is, for me, just the, the epitome of happiness. A shirt with tassels on it, bro. That guy, that guy has gone, fuck it. I, I re let's redefine masculinity. I don't yeah. give a fuck, bro. Yeah. I am living my... And you know what? You know when everyone's in, a, in an era where everyone's talking about hairlines, he was like, fuck it. Shaved it all oh, off. Mm. Here we go. The man does not care. He's amazing. Yeah, with regards to Pitbull and Flowrider, those two are just prime examples of guys that just committed to it. Like, Pitbull <laughs> is... committed to, to just the it. cheese. Yeah. No, because in Pitbull's earlier days, uh, he was like a... a he was a real rapper. Real yeah. rapper. Yeah, but mm. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, And then he thought to himself, do I want to wear baggy jeans and Air Force Ones my whole life? Or do I want to make money? Listen, as a caveat to everything you're saying, I've got friends in Miami who know Pitbull personally. And, and he's still about He's legitimately one of the 
coolest people on the planet. Oh, and I if you're you going to say he's he's a gunman, and he's no, no, no. If, if if you go to Miami, you will see what um, a, as a quote unquote lack of credibility gets you in Miami. That guy runs it. Well, listen, money gets you everything. Like if you've got enough money, people will forget some of the most corny shit you do. I'm taking the like, check. What? You're, like, you're, I love yeah, Drake, but yeah. I know Drake's a corny dude. Of course. And people, ex- we, we, we allow it because we're like, yeah, whatever, man. He's going to come out with a banger next week. So, yeah. 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 Apparently, you know, another round this year. Uh, no, not Drake yet. It will happen. It's coming. Who, it will happen. Who, who do you really want to work with? Who do I really want to work with? Like, if, if you work with someone and you go, that's it, career isn't getting better than this. Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> tried that, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> we, we tried bottom, that. You had to rebuild after yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who would I really like to work with? Um, I've got a bunch of stuff sitting on the hard drive that I would like to get to to gigs and Skepta at some point. Um, oh, proper hip hop and grime and stuff. Uh, here's a bit like the the music that I've produced. I've produced like everything, the, the, the full spectrum. It's, it's mad, K. You know, like a couple of times I've needed some help, and CJ's been like, "I'm like, have you got something that's like this?" And he's like sends me a tune what like this i'm like just like this thank you very much yeah, like yeah. i needed some audio something he's bruv his bag is deep you know not just his I record know, bag I, I, yeah i i've 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 had many a great night with cjb <laughs> <DJ. laughs> you remind me actually you saw me at um Bump. In, in, yeah in plan b in, in brixton south london home of the brave that was one of my favorite errors in um yeah and then, in, then they DJ, changed man. then they changed that whole club into like a gentrified fucking i yeah. saw well, that's when i started seeing people called bicep playing at that club and bicep, i was like yeah. i was like the <laughs> fuck he, the fuck is this guy bro bicep the fuck are you bro yeah oh, i mean Fox is, is great you I've, probably i've, I've, I've dj there a bunch of times oh is it yeah, yeah it's but it's not the same energy as plan b plan i know you gotta say that i know you gotta say Fox is great to not fuck up your money but it's not the same bro it's not the same. Like once, once you know when you go to certain clubs that are just dirty, mm. right? And everything about them is dirty and whatever. But it, it, the vibe, the is vibe like, is there. Yeah. Once they, you know when you're like in South London, I don't want to see nice tiles outside. <laughs> yeah, the the, the the toilet needs to smell a certain type of way. For me, the bomb, toilet needs two doors. The smoking you know the area system, was yeah. the best part of that mm. club. Uh, I never actually went out there. Actually, I wasn't smoking at that time. No, mm. I don't smoke. But the smoking mm. area was always the best because oh, people were just chilling. Out. Smoking area, sorry CJ, but smoking area used to be a vibe, you know. Smoking they used to call area. it schmerting, my friends, smoking and flirting. People used to go out there and schmert. I, I think some of the best conversations have been had in, you, business deals have been done in the smoking area. 100%. In every place. In every I, know, place I know people that have started to smoke just to have those conversations. Yeah. How you mean, bruv? I used to go out there to fag him and not light it, bruv. <laughs> I used to go out there and hold it. Yeah, 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 so what's good? And then cut back inside. 100%. There was, bruv, there's vibes out there, man. Yeah, there's all the smoking areas that are some of the best places on earth. Mm. The thing I liked about Bump as well was just the... The Bump collective. was the name of the club, by the way. It wasn't him trying to do drugs. <laughs> I didn't realize what Bump meant until like, later on, actually. Um, <laughs> that, that's, how, that's how unaware I was. Uh, but in terms a very of... Very innocent, man. I'm so <laughs> yeah. innocent. It gets unaware. I don't know when people are flirting. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just you can look at onto the dance floor and you've just got all parts of society under one roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there were, you know... It's people- like a K-Curd gig. Yeah, you've got, you've got quite, a, got quite a, uh, a, a multifaceted audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was a kind of audience there as well, wasn't it? it was yeah. like, that was their snapback era. We were wearing chinos. <laughs> you know when you sort of like, I, I'm looking at this era going, oh yeah, they don't know how to dress. We were dressed in chinos and plimsolls, bruv. Yeah, bruv. I found a picture. Did you know, Did you wear chinos? I never wore plimsolls. You wore chinos, though. Did I wear chinos? You wore chinos. You 100% wore chinos. Oh, I think I did wear chinos, actually. Uh, what, so, okay, sorry, Mr. Badman. I was always stylish. <laughs> no, uh, listen, my, if, <laughs> if I look back at some of my pictures from DJing early doors, like, very questionable outfits. Did you wear, like, the colourful hats and, the, like, luminous colours and stuff? Yeah, colourful hats, like, sleeveless hoodies. V-necks? And- I had a couple of V-necks. Did you wear V-necks? <laughs> you 100% wore V-necks. 110% was wearing V-necks, bro. <laughs> Marcus was... Bro, we used to I do can v, imagine we used you to do tanned. Push, we used to do push-ups to make sure that the V was extra flexible. But you know... <laughs> You get, you get a, a little bit of visible, extra listen. visible, but I never, I never did though. I never did the V-neck that went down. You know, some people wearing the V-neck. You, nah, I was going to say never, to you, yeah. yeah. I think I went like capital V. How? Woo! <laughs> All right, cool. how many centimeters away from bro, the belly button did the V bro, stop? I think there's a picture of me and my friend Jonathan when we yeah. went to Miami, bro. My V is it pretty much near the navel, bro. <laughs> I was scoop necks, everything, bro. I, so you could have got into your t-shirt by stepping into it and just bro, lifting it over your shoulders. You, there was that era, yeah. Shit. That era, I was wearing some wild things that I look back on now and I'm like, do you know what? Fuck it, I still look good. 
you know that. what's mad though is you looked in the mirror and you were like you know what yes but i can imagine yes. i can imagine you wearing that jls gas you look <laughs> i didn't go the full way i don't do you remember i think it was like car, cardigans there was like sleeveless cardigans and t-shirts and stuff like pink cardigans and t-shirts Everyone i didn't go that cardigans. far yeah, 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 cardigans yeah. were such like this old man thing became such a yeah. like i yeah. think cardigans are back in now are they i was actually looking at cardigans the other day i was like i feel like they're, they're kind of is that here, do you think they're back in or do you think you've just got old <laughs> Were you a bit chilly? Is that cost of my, living crisis? My, my words. <laughs> Look at the date of this podcast, and yeah. then in a couple of months' word. time, you'll see a bunch of guys in cardigans. Word, word. Yeah, but like finger on a pulse, okay? Finger I, on a pulse. I, 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 don't, I honestly think there's certain things that, like, I don't want to do what's fashionable now anymore, anyway, because I just feel like I've reached an age where, like, I should just wear what's good for me and not what's what everybody else. Wants. Listen, I've started seeing baggy trousers come back into fashion. Yeah. I'm not having it. Boot yeah, cut, yeah. Boot, someone said boot cuts are back. Was it Mango saying the boot cuts Let, are back? Yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing boot cuts again, bruv. I'm sorry. Like, I've, I've put that chapter of my life to bed. Yeah, I, th I think there are things that we need to accept as we've evolved on our journey, <laughs> yeah. our, our fashion journey, yeah. that uh, there are things that we like or don't like. There are certain things you might dip back into the past to kind of try to What'd you go for? What'd you wear think? again? Um, I don't know. It depends on what it is. But boot cuts definitely isn't something that I'm looking to head back towards. I just can't do it, bro. Can't do it, bro. Them big belt buckles. Do you remember the big belt buckles people used to have? <laughs> with like your name on it and stuff like that. Fuck that. Like I used to have one with a massive eagle on it, bro. Oh, <laughs> do <laughs> Massive eagle on it just looking like the thing, from you, River Island. And you put it on and you looked at it and you went, yes. And I had the one with a skull and crossbones on it. That was with <laughs> <Luffy> Diamantes. <laughs> Do you remember that? For it with the it, crystals do you remember it, yeah. that program that played drama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the guys in there was wearing the exact belt I had. I was like, oh my days, I'm famous, bro. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so what, did you tuck your t-shirt in a little bit just above it to... Yeah, basically. I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, kinda, wait, one second. You think he's going to have all that belt buckle and the t-shirts so, over it? So, nah, bro. you no, got to tuck, so tuck that you in. You only tuck yeah. that bit of it in. <laughs> Yeah, and you left the other bit hanging yeah. out. Yes. And then I had my V-neck on there. Swag. And then sometimes like you'd have like people had like these beads that they'd wear as finger. But then remember when people had like Lego chains and stuff? I don't remember. I remember uh, beads. Fresh, I don't remember Lego, 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 Lego chains. Guy for those, isn't he? Yeah, Lego Lego chains. And then there was the one with the like writing, the electronic writing that would come on it as <laughs> I well. Remem <laughs> I remember the ones with the, like the hats and t-shirts and chains and stuff like that that had the little like you know programmable what? writing on it. Yeah. Like CJ's got some nice shades on, but do you remember the do you remember when Kanye West had everyone wearing those fucking shades? They weren't really shades. The lines, the lines in them. them. Yeah, with like white glasses. And it was just like, these aren't shades. What are the purpose of these? Style. Fashion. I feel like you had a pair of those, CJ. Uh, I don't. You did, did you have a pair? I did not have a <laughs> pair of those. <laughs> I get because yeah. I think over the years as well, I was always looking at kind of what Kay's saying similar to now, where he looks at trainers like the comfort, like the, mm. the practicality of it. Yeah, yeah. Certain things you look at over the years, like what's the practicality of that? Yeah, I'm, honestly, yeah, I'm even getting to that stage now where, like, you know, when somebody has a wedding, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah, man, I've got to wear a suit. Yeah, do you know what will ruin suits for me? Have you lot ever had nine to fives? Yeah, yeah, like where you had to wear a suit and tie and stuff. Yeah, man. That is what ruined suits for me. Really? Yeah, because I used to look at a suit as in like, oh my God, it's a nice yeah. outfit to dress up in. Once I had to wear suits for work yeah. every day, mm -hmm. yeah. it just became a chore. So now when I see it, I I immediately like associate it with work. Okay. So, so, some PTSD. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bro. <laughs> my, my, my nightmares are mad, you know? Do you know what I had as a nightmare the other day? Mm. That I, my dissertation was due. Oh, shit. I get mad nightmares like that. My nightmares are all work related. Like I've got a deadline. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, to go back to the suits thing, I'm kind of a, a big fan of suits because I went to, because I didn't, my school uniform was not suit. It was, I went yeah, to see, a very good school a, uniform. Had... So when I first could put on a suit, the novelty didn't wear off like ever. So when I put on a suit, I like it. I feel like in a, be, me being in a suit is probably the best looking I can be. However, I will say I went to a wedding in, in um, Athens this summer and I was just like, how am I going to wear comfortable shoes when it's like frigate? It was a heat wave in Athens, isn't it? And it was outdoors and stuff. And for me, it's the shoe that makes makes the suit. Do you know what I mean? It has to be comfortable. Yeah, you but you can I mean? get like smart looking trainers that would have probably been a bit more practical for... You know what? There probably was. And then I, and then I clicked size 12. And do you know what? <laughs> they ain't there, bro. And, and there wasn't a and shop. There, that's was, why, there was a shop called Bigfoot. And that, I just couldn't... That's why I need the Bigfoot shop. You might need it. But um, yeah, so CJ, when it comes to um, DJing, when mm -hmm. people always ask, you know, what kind of music do you play? That used to be a thing, but what you're what people call open format DJ, right? Open format across the board. 
Whatever the occasion is. Absolute slag. You do anything absolute in it. Absolute DJ absolute Hall. slag. Yeah. DJ what's Hall. What's your, worst DJ, you what's your worst DJ experience? My worst DJ experience? Um, clearing a dance floor has got to be every DJ's worst experience. You cleared a dance floor? I've cleared many a dance floor. Yeah, man. You know really? like how, you know like how um, uh, comedians die? Yeah, I know. DJ die. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't imagine like... If once you know what you're doing, like how do you how do you clear a dance? Floor? At some point in your career, you're going to bomb again, right? Yeah, you know, like the what joke. You, you know, to, you know, like a <laughs> bomb <died. laughs> a couple of weeks ago. You know, like the, you know, like the joke that's good in your head when you're like, "This is gonna bang." You're like, "This tune is going to bang," in it. And you so, press play. So my, I'm gonna play JC and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna get them real. Well, I've 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 learned over the years that like, no matter what I play. I've got two or three songs that if that doesn't work, I can just mm. get them back to where we need to get back to. So what's going through your head while it's while you've played this banger and then everybody's left the dance floor? What's going through your head? Uh, well, you get that feeling where your your stomach goes into your anus, right? And mm -hmm. you're just like, oh, this ain't good. And then like in my peripheral, I can kind of see someone that works at the venue, like wherever they be, like promoter or manager. And they're not dancing along anymore. Well, I can just <laughs> I can I can read the any I think. A, a, a DJ's biggest gift is being able to read the room. And I'm the first person to see that I've cleared the dance I don't need anyone else to tell me that I've cleared the dance They're floor. looking at you. Hey, man, I don't know if you saw what happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're just there like, yo, no. No, I'm but it, it's, it's not even that polite. It's just like, yo, play something a bit more. Like, there's no mm. word for it because there is no word for it. Like, I know what I need to do. Just give me a second and, and, I'll, and I'll figure it out. But my absolute worst time DJing wasn't the fact that I played the wrong song. It was that I used to think it was smart for me to have all my songs on a hard drive plugged into my laptop because I DJ for a laptop and um, honestly honestly terrible real <laughs> DJing hashtag um, so I was in Southampton this club called Junk which I've never actually DJed at ever since and, and I know why um, I was DJing and the, the booth was just so rattly whenever I played anything with bass in it was literally like every oh, single song I played the whole booth just rattled and it jogged my hard drive crashed the whole laptop and I what felt like an eternity, it was probably about three or four minutes until I got everything sorted back up again, but it felt like a good half an hour of just hoping and praying that it reboots no as quickly way. as possible. Anyway, by the time I got my computer up and running again, like half the people were left. It went from a fully packed, fully packed, fully packed club to half empty within three minutes. And yeah, the rest of the set just was irrelevant. It didn't really matter what I was doing. Um, and I just remember leaving the club and the guy that booked me was standing at the door and we didn't even exchange words. Like I just looked at him and he looked at me and we both just knew that we're never going to see each other ever again. And I just walked out. Did you look over your shoulder one Ooh. last time, sling your Ooh. DJ, you, you, sling your laptop onto your shoulder and just <laughs> gave him a look and he just looked at you and you just <laughs> <laughs> emotionally walked away. But anyway, what was one of your I've best... Died at, I've, died at, I've died at a gig like that yeah. before. I've died at a gig and then I've just walked out and then the promoters messaged me later, hey, yo, where are you, man? I've got some dough for you. And I was like, don't worry about it. Right. Keep the change. I was like, I was like, I was like yeah. you know when you was like, that was so bad, I don't deserve to get paid for it. Yeah, go, go, for, go for it. I've told myself that many a time after certain gigs. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. don't worry about paying me. What's um, what's one of your best ever DJ experiences? Um, DJ for K Curd, obviously. Hey. <laughs> Doesn't get better. I looked over, hey. I, looked over yeah. I saw his chinos and I was like, this, <laughs> this guy gets it. This uh, guy look gets at the V on that man. Uh, my favorite DJ and experience might have been through Wide Awake at a club called Boots House in Cologne. That was just mental energy. Germany's a mad thing, isn't it? Ger like, I've never been really like as an adult, but like everyone goes on about German nightlife. Well, again, Germans oh, do everything efficiently. Yeah. Everything. If is we're going efficient. to party, we're going to party. Yes, well. <laughs> we like wide awake. Yeah, let's yeah. go party. Yeah, so we're going to be wide awake all night. Yeah. So like the music, obviously <laughs> that wide awake makes mm. it is like loud, obnoxious, yeah. energetic. Like it's for these very specific. How many of you ones. are there in wide awake? Is it two of you? Or? Well, it's me now. Uh, it was me and uh, Jordan, um, another producer at one point. He's left. He's gone. On so good terms, me. though, isn't it? On good yeah, terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, cool, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Uh, so you're so, yeah, just, just by just yourself me, now? Just solo, man. Which I. <laughs> so the, the, the first question I had for myself when. You just call myself CJB. Well, so. that's what happened. <laughs> My first question I had when I went solo was do I still call myself wide awake? 
I just felt it sounds weird. What's your name? Yeah, it does. Awake? It just feels weird. It is weird. And I spoke to my manager and a few other people, and they were like, "No, no, no, it's cool, man. Like you've, you've built up so much with this, it would be a shame to let it go." But I'm just like, I feel uncomfortable saying. Uh, it. Yeah, if you if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Yeah. Oh fuck it though. Like it's a name, innit? Yeah, loads of names are stupid. But loads no, of fucking names are dumb. Beats from Wide Awake. That's what I refer to myself yeah. now. CJ yeah, yeah. from Wide Awake. I don't even like CJ Beats anymore. I just like CJ. really. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. CJ Beats in the mix. You don't like the beats bit. Here, here's the thing. I used to. <laughs> Beats with a Z as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so so cool, so cool like that, so cool. You thought your belt buckle was cool? My Z in my name is Beat. the You got to say the Z as Beats. well. Beats, yeah. Beats, Beats. Um, it's what I don't have any regrets in life, really, apart from, from a it, apart from your name, <laughs> apart from apart from my name. And uh, I remember, so I used to DJ for Bashi, who uh, is now a thespian and an incredible actor. Yeah. What was the last thing he was in? He's been a few things. Uh, 24 was notable. The Night Of was a notable one. He was in Black Mirror. Yeah. He's Black Mirror. Top Boy. Um, yeah. It, Bashy's best acting f um, for me, though, has got to be in that song Ransom with him and Scorcher. <laughs> and Rich. What a video. And yeah. Well, yeah. When, when they've got, yeah. When he's like, when he's phoning up Rich and he's, Scorcher's phoning up Rich, like, I want the 20 bags or whatever. And he's all like, I've only got 10, man. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible acting. And, the, and do you know what, do you know what the funniest thing about that was? It said part two coming soon. Oh, now I'm waiting for part two, you know? Listen, uh, when that, is part two coming from Ransom? Do you know what? I might tweet him actually later and be like, ask, ask him, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Where's part two to this shit, bruv? Eddie Caddy was in there as well. What, in I that think, video? I think Eddie Caddy and Kevin J were like the police officers at the end or some shit. Was it that video? I don't know. Anyway. What were they in that video? I can't remember. I remember it was a long time ago. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we shot, so we shot that in Elephant Castle. I can't remember where they were. We um, were you in well, there? I wasn't in that video. I was I was BTS in that video. Okay, nice. I was uh, I was with Rich when he was making the phone calls from his flat. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. You've been about. I've been about. Do you A and R and stuff as well? Back in uh, I've, I've I've dabbled. I've, I've, I've done a few bits and bobs. A&R doesn't really exist anymore, though, innit? Nice. No, what well, A&R is now, like, for those that don't know, like, it's like, was it Artist and Repertoire? Artist and Repertoire, but now an A&R is fully fledged, just a, a data analyst. They, they, yeah, they, they look at yeah. the analytics. Someone just goes, how many views do you have on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> right, sign him. Sign, sign, sign him. We can sign you. No, but he's a bit racist. Hey, don't worry about that, bro. We'll just do that anyway. That's like that NFT artist that got signed, innit? And they were like, um, or that digital well, they, artist yeah, that yeah, got yeah. signed and they, and they were shot in mad NFTs and then they found out that they put some fucked up stuff online. Hey, the other day I did a gig there. You know, we were talking about chat GPT. Yeah. I did a uh, benefit for Ukraine and Adam Buxton, you know Adam Buxton? Yeah, man. He's got a massive podcast. Uh, it's it's kind of, it's a little bit bigger than this. Um, a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit bigger than this, but don't worry about it. Um, he basically done, like a lot of his, um, he was hosting a gig, but a lot of the stuff he was doing was about chat GPT. Like he put mm. our names through chat GPT and all of that sort of stuff, right? And it had come up with some like it come up for jokes for it, right? But thing, but like, I was getting scared there because I was like, this is gonna be about five to ten years before Chat GPT starts telling jokes for us, right? And you, the other day I saw, um, do, do you see the thing I sent you? Uh, what the um, AI stuff, bro? Are, are you have you have you heard about Chat GPT? No. So Chat GPT is this piece of AI? What's going on? We should continue this conversation over on the Patreon, bro. Oh, okay, we're cool. out of time for this one, but uh, um, yeah. Oh, before we go to Patreon, let me just finish the the Bashi thing. Yes, please. Just please. to make it make sense. Yes, and we'll get into Chat GPT. So, uh, so years ago, Bashi was like, "Bro, you should you should just use your real name as your DJ name." Yeah. And I was like, "What, Charles Joseph?" Like, nah, is I'm that your sure. name? Mm. Is that my name? Wow. Yeah, Charles Michael Joseph. And uh, I was just so dead against it. But now I'm at this stage in my career. And I'm like, oh, I should just sit with Charles Joseph or just Charles. I could have been like Dave. I think Dave is the sickest name. Um, and I could have just been Charles. I can't believe that wasn't taken already. Like, you know, when you sign up for an DJ app and Dave, Dave was like there. I'm so surprised. But Dave was smart, isn't it? Yeah. Dave. Dave, mate. Dave, mate. He's, do you know what the funniest thing is? His name's probably not even Dave. That would be the greatest twist ever <laughs> that would be the greatest twist His ever probably not even dave bro, that is mad how many black guys do you know called dave none at all one <laughs> there you go one. anyway subscribe to the youtube yes S follow, sure. follow wide awake yes and cj Actually, do you want us to follow wide awake and, and cj should uh, we put those in the link cj should, should, is CJ there a way of combining the followers <laughs> That would be a great idea. I'm, 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 that's, that was my first question. Again, coming off the back of everything that was happening, I was like, right, I, just, I would love to just combine it all under mm. one roof. But then you've got like Spotify profile and uh, Apple Music uh, profile. And it's just, it was just too much. And I don't know how to personally do that. And no one around me knew how to do it either. So that's where we are right now. Okay. One day, maybe. Well, 
Charles Joseph, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. <laughs> thank you for joining us. We'll see you on gonna, the Patreon. Yeah, man, if you fancy having a bonus episode every time we drop a one on our free timeline, hit the link in the show description, sign up to the Patreon. It's bumping over there. And um, we've got hours and uh, t- over 20 hours of content over there for you to enjoy. And it's growing every single week. Plus, we've got some other little bits in the can ready to pop up when we hit certain targets. It's a buzz over there. Anyway, um, I've been Marcus Bronzy. You've been K-Curd. And you mean see Charles Michael Joseph. I've been Charles Michael Joseph. Peace.